Greg has come to the Ponty Trive, the scene of Evan's drowning, to meet local historian Nia Powell. So I was given this report, Nia, yeah. that gives more detail. There's a yes. witness statement here, actually, from Dr Tarleton, who, who was the person who took, got Evan's body out of the water. Well, he was a fisherman, and he happened to be here on the bank fishing and saw what happened. Right. Dr Paul Tarleton gave evidence and stated that he was on the further side of the bridge when he saw the vehicle approach from the direction of Garrig. The horse started to take fright, and it went against the rail, which broke and the cart and its passengers fell into the river. He could not say what caused the horse to take fright. What happened, apparently, I've heard, yes. is that as they were crossing the bridge, the water was so high that it actually bubbled through the planks. Yes. And the horse shied because of this, started backing, and the whole cart fell through the railing, which was defective, into the water. Right. Dr. Paul Tarleton jumped into the river and he swam as far as he could, but he could not reach them as the current was too fierce. Yeah. Then he called on Jones to give him a fishing rod and he succeeded in dragging the body towards the riverbank. He tried to resuscitate him, but to no avail. They saw the other body being carried away, but couldn't reach him. Yes, sad story, isn't it? It is, it really is a sad story. So, Nia, this story at the time was pretty big news in the area then. Oh, it was. I think it shook the whole area. Uh, he was such a well-known figure, really, a prosperous farmer, etc. Yeah. And in a sense, I think, well, some modern myths have arisen out of it. Uh, my mother always told me that around this area there's ghosts of a man and a woman in a horse and cart with the man cracking his whip to get the horse to go. Really? And that it's associated with, with this accident. Well, I think that's a fitting point for us to leave here with the idea of uh, my great-great-grandfather still riding the bridge and cracking his whip. I think he that's wonderful. He may just come along that road he now. May. <laughs> he may. Learning about the sad demise of Evan throws up lots of questions about fathers and sons. This whole area of Wales uh, brings back lots of memories of uh, spending time with my dad. And for me to be discovering the story of two men from my family, a father and a son who seemingly had no relationship, is uh, quite a contrast. And, and sort of niggles at me to the extent that uh, I have to find out more about William because I do think it will have cast such a shadow on his life. <laughs>